Could you come with me for a second? Hugo's looking for you, and I have a few things I need to ask you too. Mm, Hugo, eh? Mm, which means you know who the killer is, I guess. Let me guess what Hugo's plan is. He's going to leave Margaret in the present and wipe you, a descendant, out that way. You knew about this? Since I was willing to give you time-traveling powers, you didn't expect me to just sit around, did you? I tested out a few histories. That particular outcome is just a variation on a theme, so it was fairly easy to guess. It's the sort of thing Hugo would think of. So I... Please, don't thank me. I just wanted to help. Switched kids. I found a baby just about the same age. <laughs> Is the Margaret you know blonde and blue eyed? What are, you, what are you saying? Switched babies? Isn't Margaret an ancestress of mine? Well, that's my theory. There's something uncanny about your involvement with that family, don't you think? It is, after all, the simplest explanation. Well, if she isn't a blonde, it means my plan worked. No matter what happens to Margaret, your existence is an assured fact. Don't worry, I'll switch things back to the way they were after all this is over. You switched Margaret with Mr. Eckert's daughter? So what I no big deal, I said. She was going to die alongside her mother, and I saved her life. It's harmless compared to Hugo trying to cancel your existence by stranding Margaret in the future, don't you think? Master Hugo's plans will fail thanks to me. Oh, God! So that's what really happened when Mr. Eckert's daughter disappeared. Wait a second. Did you murder his wife, too? Who me? As if I'd risk myself in doing that. Do you have any idea how fragile my body is? I have to take good care of it so that it won't break. I'm really not very strong. Just now, I had to rest a little here, and the next thing I know, there are people all over the crime scene. So I couldn't complete the switch. But I did manage to bring the real Margaret to this time. Under the name Dana, of course. No need to worry. I don't believe the stunts you pull. These are people's lives, their fates that you're dealing with here. Hmm. You lost me there for a second, Ike. Sorry, but I'm not human, so I wouldn't know anything about that. You... But I do believe in the power of fate, you know. No matter how much you meddle, it always wants to go back to the way it was. It has a kind of homing instinct, if you catch my drift. That's why we're having so much trouble getting death to jour off your menu. I know what I said about not wanting to die. But you have to stop changing other people's destinies so casually. I mean, why do you have to go that far? Well, if you're that unhappy about it, Ike, would you like me to change it back? Of course, it has to be after she's turned 20, after she's taken hostage by Hugo. Otherwise, there's no point in switching them in the first place. 
You... Uh, 20 years isn't something you can just erase from memory and relive. Don't you understand how, how serious time is? Excuse me? Are you trying to lecture me, Ike? After all I've done for you? Humans are nothing but trouble. Really? Well, see you later then. Wait! Where do you think you're going? He said something weird. Homing instinct? No way. Was that it? So Dana is my... And Margaret is Mr. Eckert's daughter? Can that be it? Welcome. Uh... Yes? You're... Who are you? Would you really like to know? If you really don't mind telling me. Could it be that you are here because you have some idea of what that answer will be? I met you once, long, long ago. I could not have imagined then that we would meet again under such circumstances. I'd listen to you go talking, of course, but how could I have believed these wild fantasies about time travel? That is, until I became what I was and saw you again. Yes, long ago I was called Helena. I had a life of my own and two children named Margaret and Hugo. But I was also very ill. When we first met, I couldn't even raise myself from the bed anymore. And soon afterwards, I died. All that was left of my existence was a lock of hair. As it should have been. But Hugo, my son Hugo, found the homunculus device that his father had been experimenting with. And he used my hair in the machine. 